sinfulness manifests in so many different ways. When you look at all the things that can happen within a relationship that are negative and destructive, you really have to ask yourself, what is the cause of these things? Now, you might just say, well, it's just that person. Um, it's just the way that they are. Um, they're such a nice person. But on the other hand, they're not. That's their sinful nature manifesting from within them. Their sinful nature working from within to bring havoc on them and havoc on anyone that's associated with them. And in this case, it's you. You're not the first person in this rodeo. These people have done this before. They've wasted people's time, they've wasted their own time, they're wasting their life with chemicals and other nonsenses that are just a demonic, demonic and destructive. And now you're trying to work out how you navigate this. They weren't that way at the start. Oh, they're all lovey-dovey and but they were used to casual failing relationships. They were used to not committing to anything or semi-committing and then just being betrayed or robbed or betraying and robbing themselves, the other person. It's not uncommon. It's the usual demonic, satanic ways in which we live today in a world of no responsibility or accountability. And anything that can help take the pain away, I'll have. People don't give their mind a chance to try and lead them out of things. And you get all these um, traumas and dysfunctions and damage that's working in, working in people. And they're just pushing it to the side. There's no real order, it's just self-indulgence, arrogance, ignorance, all those things that are going to come down on you once this person manifests who they really are after they think they've established a relationship and got a hold on you. Now, they'll have people working in the background advising them wrongly and they always start off with the right advice at first and then that deteriorates into the wrong advice and aims towards undermining the relationship because people want the supply of the person that you're with and if they're not okay Hank come on mate and if they're not getting it the good news will turn to bad news and that bad news will be reflected on you. Now, the person will keep showing up, but they're not gonna be transparent about what's going on behind the scenes and how things are starting to work against you in their mind. And they'll just work, battle away at it knowing that things are going down the tubes, but they're not going to tell you that. That's why it's called covert sinfulness. Covert sinfulness. Come on, mate, please. And this sinfulness is running wild in the lives and minds of many, many people today. They're putting their alcohol and drugs and nicotine and all this stuff that damages health and life and takes away time these people have to give time to these things that means that time is taken away from you that time of development that time of togetherness is spent with the bottle or with the bong whatever other instrument they use to delight themselves with their self-destruction what you've got to understand, viewers, is people that are hurting themselves will ultimately hurt you. People that are abusing themselves will ultimately 
abuse you. History has proven that. It's not some big secret. It's going to happen. Now, many of you think that you're the knight in shining armor and that you're gonna come along and change this person and everything's gonna get better and it's all gonna end up like a fairy tale. It's not until the dream turns into a nightmare and you're putting more effort in and getting nothing in return that you realize things are starting to go wrong. The fog's starting to come in. But we have this tendency to put our loyalty and faithfulness before ourselves. And this is where we lead ourselves down the garden path. We deceive ourselves into thinking that our effort, that our person, that our love and devotion will be enough for the relationship to turn around. But that's not true. There's a part in human nature that disintegrates. There's a part in the mind and heart of many people that just cannot hold on to a long-term relationship in a healthy way. And we think we can be better than that spirit. We can't, we're finite. You're dealing with infinite powers of darkness and troubled minds and damaged hearts and all the stuff that comes with that, all the sinfulness that comes with that, that we can't overcome ourselves. No matter what our works are, it's like trying to approach God the Father without the Lord Jesus Christ, without the crucifixion. Unfortunately, the cross will only help us personally. If you're in a relationship with someone that's sinful and dark and you've got the cross and you're applying it, the best thing you can do is turn the light on their darkness, except that it has gone dark. It's foggy, it's shady, it's all become shady. You know the word shady, it comes from darkness. Shady, it's just gotten shady. They'll move on. They'll move on without you. And it becomes time for you to move on without them. Now they might put on a performance. You would have heard that saying, oh, they put on a performance. That's when somebody realizes they're going to lose something that's, um, com let's just say convenient for them to keep. They put on a performance. They, they make you think that everything's gonna turn around, which means they are capable, they know that they're not where they should be, they're not acting the way they should be. That's evidence that they know. When somebody puts on the performance, when they realize they're gonna not have the convenience of you anymore, the supply of you anymore, you've turned the crucifix at them because they're shady, it's become shady, it's just causing you trouble and harm. You don't have to stay in that trouble and harm. Look at the color of those trees, viewers. Once you've realized that the disintegration process, they call it in narcissism psychological terms, the devaluation process has begun it's time for you to step back and go, okay, I've got someone that's shady. They're going into the shadows. They're going into the darkness. I can't manage them there. I can't build a relationship with them from there. It's too dark. It's too damaging. It's too sinful. Bring the light upon yourself. Accept that you have tried and they have tried. The value isn't there. It's time for you to say goodbye. Draw the curtain on the production. Hang up the phone. Leave them alone. They'll leave you alone. 
walk away, go no contact, and never go back.